Hey there, come here a second. Listen, if you want to be among the top real estate agents and business owners in the world making money, getting leads through video marketing, then you've got to stop making these five mistakes. You know what I find hilarious? People who are critical of something someone else is doing, but then they do the same thing themselves. Okay, so maybe you're not always critical, but we do things like click a video, watch a piece of it, and then we leave for whatever reason. Then we go to make a video ourselves, and the things that we left the other video for, it was boring, it took too long to interest you, you couldn't hear properly, or some other reason. We do those same things ourselves. Stop, stop it. it. Okay, I've picked out five things I want you to stop doing so that you can have more professional looking videos that get people's attention and do the things that videos are supposed to do. Of course, before we jump in, call to action, y'all. Hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Okay, cool, let's jump in. Mistake number one that I see a lot of people making when they're creating videos is having poor lighting and poor audio. One of the biggest things that's going to make people run away and leave your video content is if, of course, they can't see you or if the audio is bad. You might be able to get away with audio that sounds like this for just a little bit, but you definitely wanna make sure that your audio can be heard clearly. I don't know if you've heard the saying, you might be able to get away with a little bit of bad video, but you're not gonna get away with bad audio. People need to hear what you're saying. So here's what you can do. Invest in good equipment. Now that equipment doesn't have to be expensive. For your lighting, you might wanna just consider doing some of your content outdoors. Typically outdoors, especially if you're filming in the morning or late evening, you're gonna get some nice even lighting. But if you wanna buy lights for indoor video shooting, I've got another video that talks about lighting right here. And I'm also partial to Elgato lights. I love me some Elgato lights. I'll also place some links in the description with some recommendations for lights that I recommend. Yeah. With regard to audio, you don't necessarily have to purchase an expensive microphone, but especially if you're shooting outdoors, you want to make sure that you have a microphone that gets close enough to your mouth so that it eliminates a lot of background noise, dogs barking, airplanes flying, you know, that type of stuff. Again, I've got some recommendations in the description. Mistake number two, lengthy intros. I've seen videos with a lot of long, flashy intros and that takes up time. The viewer came to the video to get the content and so the longer you take to get to that content is the less time that they will actually stay to hear what they came for. If they're nice, they might scrub forward in the timeline, but more often than not, the longer that you take to get into your content, the more likely it is they're gonna leave. So get to your content as soon as you can. And that includes leaving out all of the extra stuff. Hey y'all, my name is Robert, and I've been a real estate agent for the last 15 years. I've sold more than $500 million in properties, and I specifically serve Stop it, they're gone. Instead, share a hook that you know that your audience cares about, something that deals with the problem that they're actually facing, and then jump right into your content. For example, what if you could get into a house today and only have to pay 1% down? Then you can jump right into your content. Your audience is gonna be interested in that because they wanna spend less money, at least less money up front. I've also got a link in the description which shares some hooks that you can use to engage your audience right away. Mistake number three, lack of planning and structure. If you're ever filming a video and it feels like you're rambling, you probably are. How many times have you watched a live stream or a video and it seemed like the person in the video was just going on and on and on and on and on and on and on? Here's the thing, I suggest using a framework of some sort to structure your video, but at the very minimum, Think about the one thing that you want your audience to take away if they don't remember anything else from that video. Be clear on what that one thing is and then build everything else around it. If it helps, create a time limit for your video, then write out a script and use a teleprompter. Quick tip, English human beings in the West speak at about 140, 145 words per minute. So for a five minute video, think 750 words or less. Mistake number four overused effects. Have you watched any of those videos where there are just a lot of sounds? It's just, there are a lot of sounds, a lot of transitions, whoosh, whoosh, a lot of stuff going back and forth, stuff flying, sounds, oh my gosh. Yeah. 
Yeah, you've got a whole lot of stuff happening and going on. I remember when I used to teach ninth grade, I taught my students how to use PowerPoint. And every year there were these students that would use that typing effect. And we would have to sit and watch the entire slide type in one letter at a time. Keep it simple. And as I said in the previous tip, make sure that your audience takes away at least one important thing. Mistake number five, and I'm big on this one, the lack of storytelling. As I talked about having a structure for your videos, it's important for you to go from one pillar of storytelling to the next. The four main elements of storytelling are context, character, conflict, and conclusion. And typically when you have your hook, your hook is that conflict because it deals with the challenge or the problem that your audience is facing. So if you're thinking about real estate, think about highlighting the challenge of your audience and then give some examples of how a specific property or product can solve that challenge. If you like entertaining but don't have the space currently, this property has a bar. Or another example, you can even do the opposite. If you don't like X, this may not be the property for you. But if you're really thinking about why, here's a great benefit of this property. Storytelling really takes your audience on a journey and brings them along with you. It engages them and helps them to feel connected. Hey, I know I went high level on some of that stuff and you might even have questions. If you have some questions, feel free to leave those in the comments and I'll be sure to respond. You can also join me in the strategic video storytelling community. The link for that community is also in the description. Yeah, I know I put a whole lot of stuff in the description today. It's good stuff. You should go there. Okay, my friend, that's all I've got for today. Here's some other videos that you should check out on video, storytelling, and communication.